All right, guys, I think we're live. What we're doing is we're on Hunter Call the Wild and we're actually in the new map. I think it's called Emerald Coast or something. Uh, we are, uh, we're in Australia. So without further ado, let me first thing pull up the map and show you how big Australia is and where exactly I am. Right now, it looks like I got five different locations picked out. I basically just spent today driving around. Pretty sure it like opened up today and stuff. But also comment below, how's the audio? How's the video? And if it's pretty good, we're gonna get go ahead and get right ahead and get started. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. So, without further ado, also, I actually need to go over and get a four-wheeler. Actually, no, we don't. We need to go ahead and start hunting. All right, let me show you what I'm rocking with. Obviously, got the binoculars. Step two, the Osmosis 308. This thing's a stinking killer. I'll just say this, I point blanked. Two yard, 308, straight to the chest on a kangaroo that was mid-attack. This happened about six hours ago. Let's just say this, flatlined him. He is absolutely down. Point blank, just boom. It was insane. Next up, I have the Ranger 243, arguably the worst gun in the game, but when it's paired up with the polymer tip bullet, I'll be honest, guys, it's actually kind of decent. Then, of course, I have the 22. I've not used the 22 yet. I've not figured out how to use the 22 yet. Not on this map. I kind of just got it today. Then, of course, we have a wild boar collar. Apparently, there's like wild boar, wild pigs here and stuff. Then I got a jackrabbit collar because I know there's red fox and maybe a dingo. I don't know. I mean, I know there's dingoes in real life. I don't know if they put them in the game or not. Anyways, uh, y'all tell me what you want me to do. We're here to explore Australia. I know there's some kangaroos down here by the fact that I've done shot a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, and also over here, apparently there's crocodiles in the game. I figured that that'd be a good spot for crocodiles, so I went ahead and unlocked some outpost over here. But without further ado, let's just get on over here. Let's start running around and let's see if we can uh, see if we can strike up something. Basically, the strat. We make sure it's eleven. It's eleven fifty-six. Is that a bad time? Is that a bad time of day? I feel like things should just be asleep. Might not be bad. Yeah, we're just going to walk around and look. That's pretty much the st my strat so far. Just walk around. Look for animals. They might be there. They might not. Just keep looking. Eventually, you'll see some. What I've noticed is there is actually a lot of animals like in on this map. I'm not talking species. I'm talking about the number of animals. I've played this game probably three hours total so far, maybe. Probably a lot less, maybe two hours. But I've seen so many animals. Like, I, I've, I've probably seen a hundred kangaroos. And right here, I bet it's a kangaroo. No, it's a red fox. All right, we gotta go ahead. He's probably running. He's probably running. Yeah, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah. Takes his heart shot. Roll him. He's stinking down. Oh, my. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Can we make this? Can we make it happen? There's another one. There's two of them. Oh, he's darting up the hill. I stinking got him. Let's see if his health drops. I don't think his health is dropping fast enough. Ooh, one more shot, one more shot. All right, he went over. I think that one's gonna die. I think that one's gonna die. That first one's done, though. And I'm pretty sure that second one's done, too. But let's go ahead and switch back to the binoculars. Let's go claim that fox. This has been a... This little... I don't know, man. Let me check, check it out where I am in case y'all want to play the game. All of these little pink stuff, including the hot pink... Those are all fox. I just walk out this little thing right here and shoot them up. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering, you actually start this game on this map right down here in the corner. So, kind of like a weird location. I will go ahead and tell you right now, if you don't have the four-wheeler DLC, unfortunately, I know it costs money, but it's like $4 or something. It's pretty OP because if you're, if you're actually going to have to walk everywhere, it'll probably take you about three to seven business days to get to the other side of the map. So, go ahead and... Make your life a little bit easier and get the four-wheelers. They're actually a really, really nice DLC. Opposed to that big 338 Magnum, which is probably one of the worst guns in the entire game. I actually used it to shoot a feral goat today. Got a vital organ hit, and it didn't drop a percentage of health. So, still kind of salty about that. But, Texas Heart Shot, was it lethal? Absolutely. And apparently I didn't hit a vital organ. Well... Tell me how the rear end of a stinking fox ain't a vital organ. I mean, if you cut it in half, it can't survive without its back legs. 
How's that not vital? I don't know. Anyways, almost $1,000. Nothing insane. We'll take it. We'll take it, to say the least. And by the end of this episode, here's my objective. I want to kill a kangaroo. I want to kill a crocodile. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And if there's a dingo in the game, I'd like to kill a dingo. But I don't I don't actually know if there's dingoes in the game. Or an Australian wild dog. I don't care what you call it. One thing I've noticed so far. This entire map might be... I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just predicting, okay? But this might be one of the best... One of the best... We got a kangaroo down there, guys. I'm just getting distracted. This might be one of the best hunting maps in the game. What do I mean by that? Well, what I mean by that is that there's a lot of places where you pull up your binos and you can look out 400, 500 yards. Where's the kangaroo? There goes the kangaroos. If this is y'all's first time seeing them, they just kind of hop away. And these things go aggressive. I had one come up and kick me. It was traumatizing. It really was. But you see the kangaroos. Like, they travel in giant herds or whatever you call it. That's why I've probably already seen a hundred of them. Like, they just... You spook like 30, then you blink and there's like 25 more following them. It's crazy. There's a bunch of them. Where'd I hit this one at? Hit him in uh, the tendon. The ACL. I'll take it. Always a lethal shot. Let's get a little bit closer and we'll actually take a shot on one of these kangaroos. If one will sit still. Because, you know... If they ain't gonna sit still, it's gonna be kind of hard to kill them. Now this is kind of like the plains. What I will say down here is all right. It's the it's the saltbrush plains. Over here is a Hogan's Field. I've not hardly I've not hunted down here. This is like a mountain, I guess. This down here I'm excited for the coast and right down here where uh, there's water. I've never hunted down there. Oh oh snap oh snap. He's here, ain't he? He's here, ain't he? He's here. The stinking aggressive. We got a stinking aggressive kangaroo, raccoon, whatever it is. Who you think you are? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, dude, he's... Look at him. Look at him. This is crazy. Get him, Jamal. Look at him. He's trying to grab me. Dude, I don't think he knows who he's messing with. Hold up, brother. This is crazy. Three oh eight ain't gonna let you get away. What the world's that going on? We just got. I didn't even know the kangaroo was there. Whew. Jamal, buddy, what are you doing? Ain't you supposed to growl whenever they get close or something? Come on. How do I, how do I like, play with you, pet you or something? Good job, Jamal. You got to start growling or something. Usually, if I'm about to get attacked, he'll like go, Arr. He didn't do that this time, did he? He just waited until I got my lights knocked out at the back of my head from a stinking kangaroo. Let's go claim him. I, think I shot him in the teeth twice. Probably got some teeth knocked out from that 22. Hip shot, dude. All right, Jamal, I've lost him. Come find him. Come on, man. Do something. All right, all right, all right. Where's he going? Did the kangaroo even run this way? There he is. Yeah, there's the kangaroo. But there's feral goats, apparently. We just heard one over here, actually, so... I'd say that 308 might have scared him off, but if we look for him, we'll find him. Because you can see... A lot of play you can see all over the place, and it's really, really pretty, pretty good map. It really does set up really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and claim it, then we're gonna move areas. I want to see where I hit him. Also, if you don't know, they like updated their user interface. Um, here's the first shot, 22, boom, right smack dab in the neck by a 22 hollow point. Second shot, boom, hit him right there in the shoulder. Didn't kill him though, and then boom, shot him right there in the spine. He did. Also, they're a level four, in case y'all care about that. This one's 120 pounds, so, I don't know, probably bigger than some of y'all or something. And this one's like a level six. I shot one that has a level seven. Point blank with a 308 to the chest. Pretty devastating. Anyways, let's go ahead and move over to Hogan's Field.
What time is it? 7.10? Oh, yeah, we got a lot of time. Let's fast travel to Hogan's Field. I'm not really... I forgot what Hogan's Field was like. I'm pretty sure it's just flat. Kind of boring. So far, so good. It's actually been pretty epic. <laughs> We're stinking smoking them, dude. All right, Hogan's Field. Kind of like a little ranch scenery. Once again, though... Boom, pull up binoculars. We're sitting here scanning up to 150 yards and we're not even at a high point. If you look closely, you'll actually see topography. What that is is like these little lines that shows elevation. If you really want to play smart, you can uh, climb up on this hill and kind of glass all this. I'm just going to walk. Uh, let's see what this says. Hold up. This is actually like a cheat code, ain't it? Yeah, this is kind of like a cheat code. Because now you can look at these maps. You can actually see where all the things is. That way you don't want to. Let me check in the chat real quick. Let me check the chat real quick. What y'all saying? Oh, snap. Simon Rower. He said, KG, what up? <laughs> Nothing. Because I don't have a roof anymore. I'm just kidding. I do have a roof. And the ceiling is up. Then Lil Pacino Dosey. Said, can you meow, meow five times? You know, uh, no, not really. Not yet, should I say. Anyways, what I'm looking at is that uh, this little field out here. I, I'm kind of bored. I'm leaving. Let's go up here. This is this is a mountain. I remember going to this spot. Kind of hard to get to. Took me like five minutes, which is a lot in the game on a four-wheeler. Um, look at this bird. Is that an emu? How do I even look it up? How do I even look up if that's an emu? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Emerald Coast? I'll find out real quick. I mean, give me give me a minute. Emerald Coast. Dude, I can't spell for one. It won't even look good. Look, I'm against it. Can you tell me which which one's the motor? No, I ain't doing that. I'm, I, I, too much work, man. T can you click all the boxes got a motorcycle in it? No, I can't. I physically, I physically can't. I don't even know what's going on anymore. But I will do this. I will place a waypoint right here on this ridge and we're going to walk up this trail and we're gonna start hunting. Maybe there's mountain animals, I'm not sure. I'm not really, I've not really done too much. The only place I've actually hunted so far is back there where I killed the kangaroos. So everything else is new to me. But what I do like is you can actually sit up here and you can actually look across the mountain, still inside of render distance, and you can actually kind of look at all of this hillside. Now it's not as flat. Oh, what kind of track is this? A band tang. Band. My goodness, what what have I packed, dude? I packed a 308, and the biggest animal it goes up to is a level eight. So I didn't I didn't know what animals there was in this map, but I'm kind of curious actually. I kind of want to chase these down. A bantang, 1,300 pounds. That's a that's like a buffalo. Although I don't know anything about them, we're still gonna try to track them. And see if we can't get a little close. So we're just going to walk down here. I imagine they won't be super spooky. So we might get lucky and actually find them. But I sure don't know how. Is there any water in this area? No, there's no water. Alright, well, I think we're just going to be glassing. We won't invest too much time into these band tangs. But we will check out this little thing. And uh, just we will just check out this area and see if we can't find some pretty easy. Also, do y'all like the live streams? If you guys like these live streams, uh, I don't know, hit the like button. I guess let me know. Let me know. It'd be a good way to do it. I guess. All right, looks like we found a bang tang, and it's a mating call, which is good. But he's only 177 yards away, which means he's close. Let's see, Simon Roller. What's my favorite map? I'll say this, right now my favorite map is probably Australia. And that's with like two hour total gaming time. So I think it's just, I just like it right now because it's new. I also really like the Yukon, really like Silver Ridge Peaks. If you don't have Silver Ridge Peaks, that's probably, that's the one to go for. Silver Ridge Peaks is probably the best map, no kidding. Let me see. So that thing barked or whatever it did, and it sounded like it was right over here. 
So I just got to kind of sneak around this little flat right here. I imagine he's on this flat where it goes right around the mountain. We're just going to, have to keep our binos out and look. A bang tank. Oh, he could be up on the hill, can he? A bang tank. Ooh, man, I about, I about shot that rock. I'll just be honest. I about shot that rock. I thought that was a bang tank. Like, I don't know if these things go aggressive. I don't know if these things are, like, bullet. Oh, there it is. So that's it. But I think I think the game might be glitching out or something with, like, giving me x-ray vision. Because, uh, I think it's through the bank. Oh, he's standing up now. He's standing up now. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see their horns. I don't see them, though. Oh, gosh, I got to make a move. I got to make a move. Get out of the bush, dude. I'm already using a 308, which is... Oh, we're shooting that one. No, that's not in a bull. That's a, that's a female. I don't know if it really can't care. I don't know if it really matters. We're shooting cows, right? That That's one's head right there. I can't tell if that's a male or not. Oh, there they go. Are they running? No, that's the female again. From what I can see, we're basically hunting cows, which I just think is the coolest thing ever. I mean, maybe I'm a little crazy, but I've always wanted to hunt a cow. I think I am crazy because that doesn't make sense. Fun fact, though, you can actually go out to some islands in the Pacific or whatever, and there is wild cows, and you can actually hunt them. Deer Meat for Dinner did that, and I just thought that was the coolest video ever. But this, I don't know that much about Australia. But it might be the same way to where they were just released, turned into a problem, just like feral pigs and feral goats. Now, I don't really know. That's just an assumption. But these look a lot like cows. So, let's scan down there, make sure there's not an easier target. What I am a little risky about is that these are level 9 animals. And this 308 only is recommended for a level eight so we're not exactly going we're not exactly using the perfect weapon here we should be using we should be using a bigger bullet but at the same time a 308 in real life i mean in real life the 308's a pretty hefty bullet and it can do some pretty crazy things so i think if we get up on them i think we're so close i'm taking off i'm taking off the scope i think that if we get close enough and it's going to take, it's going, we're going to have to be quiet to do this, but I think that if we do get close enough and put a shot right where it needs to be, I think we can get this done with a 308. Even though it might be underpowered, I think we can probably get it done. I'm just looking forward to these crocodiles because, yeah, yeah, the kangaroo is cool and it definitely tried to kill me. And these big cow things are cool. But a crocodile, like we've seen alligators in uh, Mississippi, but I'm pretty sure they said the crocodiles in this map are going to be even more aggressive. Oh, there they are. That's them right there. Guys, be quiet. Don't make a noise. Hush. Stop talking. Oh, yeah. Let's see. That one's a level 9 3. That one's a 2. That one's a 2. Those are 1s. Oh my gosh, Jamal. I thought you was a bang tang. I thought you was a bull. You're getting ready to run me over. The good thing is that these guys seem to be so big that they don't care. Worst case scenario, I shoot that one. Seems to be pretty good. But no, I'm sure that... Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Nope, that one. That one right there. That's a big one. That's a level four. That's a hard shot. I'm going prone. I'm going prone. We got to get closer, man. We got to get closer. We're already using an underpowered weapon. But at the end of the day, do you think a 308 can kill a cow? Because it can kill a moose. So it should be able to kill this thing. I think that one right back there is definitely the one I want. Unless it turns out there's a bigger one somewhere that I've just not seen yet. Let's crawl up a little bit further. But I don't want to test my luck too much and spook some of these. I think that would be pretty bad. This is intense. I know this is just a cow, 
a glorified cow, if you will. But this is still intense. Yeah. Yeah, this is... Jamal, dude, you got to get out of the way. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing, Jamal? Get out of the way. Whew. Jamal, I'm, I'm actually serious. Get, like, lay down or something. Go go away. Just, just lay down. Be a good boy. Don't move too much. Let's see. And real quick, let me check the chat. Someone... Hunting said, can you shout me out? Well, your name's Hunting, so... I'll shout you out a lot in this video. Uh-oh. Someone said, hey, my name is Luke, and I'm 13. I watch your videos every day, and it's my dream to be a YouTuber. No. To play with you, which is my favorite YouTuber. Okay, well, that's pretty epic. All right. Now let's get down to it. Hold up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really... Gr I'm not the best at running my chat and playing the game at the same time. But I, I'm just trying my best. Hey, and there's a red fox. There's a red fox somewhere out there. Let's do this. Let's see if we can swindle one. Let's see if we can shoot one of these big bulls. Then hit the squealer and see if we can get one to come, one of them red fox to come to us. I say we get it right up here. Oh, dude, we are so close. And they're still calm, which is good. Stinking bang... A, what are they called again? A bang tang? A ba bang tang. Yeah, this is weird. That's a weird animal. I, I'm I'm getting nervous now. Let's see. Now I got a good look at them. I'm pretty pretty positive that's the biggest one. That's not an amazing shot, but I think it's a shot we're willing to take. Do we take it with iron sights? Heck no. I can't even see it. All right, here we go. I, we're sending it. Two shots is better than one. There we go. That's it. That's it, guys. That's it. Nope. Three. No, that was a butt shot. Oh, no, man. Whew. I don't know if bang tanks can go aggressive. I know that every kind of buffalo can, but, dude, that was crazy, man. Three, I mean, two good shots, two really good shots with a 308, and then shot him once in the butt, and he's still going? Like, that's a good shot. I mean, we got a vitals hit. I mean, the gun was a little small, but we got a vitals hit. And it, I don't know if color of the blood matters in this game, but... We got good blood color. That's for sure. Go ahead and reload, done dead. All right, let's track this thing. Yep, all right, we're on him right here. We're tracking a stinking bang tang. This is pretty good. This is pretty good, dude. Random question, but I wonder I wonder what the like uh size is going to be of these of the crocodiles because do I need, do I actually need to, Oh, there's one right here. Not a crocodile, but a big big bull or whatever. We got this bull down. I'm going to see if we can't hit one. Running shot. Headshot. I think we actually just killed one. I don't know. I was going for the head. Because obviously, like, I mean, if you, if you can get a 308 in the head, I'm pretty sure it's going to kill it no matter what. Probably not like a, a ethical kill or whatever, but, I mean, it'd kill it. But look at the bang, bang tang, bing bong, whatever it is. I like this. That's a cool little critter. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Dude, that first shot didn't even make it to the lung. Is it because it didn't penetrate enough or it just missed? I don't know. It's really close. The second shot, though, after it stood up, how's it? How's this thing upside down? All right. How 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 do I got how do I got this thing upside down? How how we fix this? Anyways. Looking at it right here, that was a long shot, but barely. And then that one on the run was a butt shot, as I expected. $888. Interesting harvest, because I can kill a red fox and make, like, over a 1000 Easy. Anyways, we've hunted the forest, the mountain forest at least. I think it's pretty cool. What is that? Chinese weather balloon? <laughs> I think not. That's a different video. Let's keep hunting. All right, looks like we got a female this time. I'm curious to see how much they're going to be worth. And I'm also curious where I hit her. That's definitely a vital organ hit, but I also hit it right there. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, tell me if I'm wrong. We're hunting feral cows. And I love it. This is awesome. I hit one shot, which got 1% cheek shot. Ooh, man, that was close. Then the second shot was actually 
really close to the brain, but I got its spine, and that's what dropped at 99% of its health. Not bad, pretty good. I actually made more money off of that one than the bull. I don't know how that works, but we're gonna leave the mountain, and let's go to, I think we're gonna save this part for last. Let's go to this mountain. Now this mountain is probably one of my favorites. It's pretty epic, it's really cool. Let's see what some of you guys are saying. Let's see, Mammy pushing at least 200. What does that mean? 200 trophies? Absolutely, dude. She had diamond all day. Let's see. KG is goaded? No, no dude, that was a cow. Goat? Goats? We've not even seen a goat yet. Uh, Thursday is my birthday. All right, with well, Tractor Disasters, happy birthday. I like that name. It's really unique. Um, yeah, anyways, we are on this mountain. Here's the stinking house. Like, can we just go a little HGTV? MTV Cribs for a minute. This is the house. This is the cabin. What? What in the world is this? What kind of Airbnb is this? This may not even be an Airbnb. This might be something like a, what do you call it, like a VRBO or something. This might be something real nice. I got water tank. This is nice, dude. Meant to, meant to buy, buy this or something. Set it up in the backyard, backyard or something. That's what Flair would do. He'd build this in his backyard for fun. Look at that. Look at that red deer. That ain't no red deer. That's a fawn. Somebody shot a fawn and mounted it. I'm down for it. I like it. I appreciate it, actually. Let's see. We got a big TV. You walk up here. Is that it? Oh, this is, is this a stinking yurt. Y'all know what a yurt is. I think this is a yurt, and I like it. I do. It's actually way smaller than I thought it was going to be. But when we walk out here, oh, look at that. Uh-oh. Was that a glitch? That floor mat giving, like, hieroglyphics or something. I don't, I don't think you're supposed to do that. Anyways. We're in a pretty good spot. Let's just hunt right here, man. You know what? I changed my mind. I think we're in a bad spot. We're jumping off at the Tiki Tower. Ooh. Well, dang. Uh, let's walk this way. I'm not too familiar with this mountain, but we're just going to take a stroll down here. I'm sure we'll probably spook something. So that'll give us some action. Action. Let's check it out. 120 meters. I will say this, guys. One downside about the mountains, even though it is cool and we are like in a rainforest, one of the big downsides about the mountains is that they're thick and um, you can't really see as far. So I will say that's definitely a downside. And I also don't know how to hunt in Australia. Put me in Kentucky. I can figure it out. Put me in Australia. I don't know what to do. I probably should have watched, uh, probably should have done the missions to actually figure out what's going on. Okay. It's probably a good idea. But not too long. Honestly? Yeah, not too long. We're actually heading down there. Jeez, that's a far, that's a long ways away. Ain't no way we're going down there for real, are we? How do I put a, how do I put a waypoint? How do I put a waypoint? Oh, triangle. I'm going to put a waypoint over here because this is where we're going to be hunting the crocodiles a little bit later. Dang, son. Way down there? Jeez. That's a long ways away. Let's just start on walking now, I guess. I don't know. What kind of, what kind of animals would live in the mountains of Australia? That's my question. Like, what kind of animals are we dealing with? What kind of animals would live here? How do you even hunt them? I feel like it's the biggest spot for goats, but I don't know. I ain't never really done that. Let's see what we got down here. It's pretty epic. Pretty cool. Pretty cool map. Pretty steep. I'll say that. Um, I don't know how to say this, guys, but I think I'm about to leave. I'm about to leave the mountain. I don't know if I'm going to do any good here. I ain't figured out how to hunt here yet. Yeah. Uh-oh. My whole thing's get glitching. Is that me? My whole thing's glitching, right? Let's go. Um. Oh. We have to go right here. We gotta go right here. This is a really good spot. Let's see what y'all saying. Um. Someone asked for a shout-out. 
Ryder Bonds, there is your shout out. Thanks, buddy, for watching, for one. Can you have my phone number? Yeah, sure. How about no? <laughs> you can't have my phone number. You're not allowed. Wild human? You talking about me? You talking to me? Okay. Sure. Oh, someone said, uh... Take the 10 millimeter croc hunting. I tell you what, that's not a bad idea. Let's 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 switch your loadout right now. After getting traumatized by that kangaroo that almost like knocked my socks off, quite literally, we definitely need to change up. Okay, dude, where's the stinking thing? How do I, how do I get to the? Ugh. Dude, these Australian houses are like next level. I don't really understand them at all. Like, how am I supposed? Where where's where do I get my stuff? Oh, through this door. I like it. Oh, snap, dude. This is sick. Look at this. Dude's got a little built-on room just for hunting stuff. And I like I like that. But, yeah, let's go into storage. Uh, right now, this is loadout one. It's a pretty solid loadout. Ooh, we're getting rid of the 22, mainly because I've not used the 22 yet. And if we see a duck, y'all know me. I'll blast it with a 308 and not feel bad about it for one second. So, we don't really need a 22 because I got a 308. All right, now we do need a pistol, though. The 10 millimeter, y'all's favorite. And then we definitely got to load up the red dot. Let me see. Oh, the red dot. Well, first, we need the 10 millimeter bullets, which is the... Oh, we only got four? All right, let's go to the store, man. Let me load up the thing. Then we got to go to the store. We actually got to buy more bullets, because let me tell you a secret. I'm going to be spending a lot more than four bullets whenever we see a crocodile. Anyways, the raptor red. Let me see if this goes on a pistol. I don't know. I don't know if it goes on pistol or not. This one goes on the semi-auto pistols. Cool. Now let's go to the store. Buy some more handgun ammo. We're looking for the 10 millimeters. We're going to buy a lot of them. Like a lot of them. I think something's making noises outside. I think you can probably kill a kangaroo with this too. Well, yeah, he definitely can. Dude, what in the world? 10 millimeters go from two to six? Is that like, is that like slightly overpowered or what? I mean, levels two to six. So we got something right down this hill. Now this is a good spot too, especially right in here. As I was driving this loop right here, or it's not a loop, but you get the point. As I was driving this, I was spooking all kinds of game. So we're just gonna walk down this trail and we're gonna see something. And I think it's gonna be something we've not seen yet at all. Like I'm pretty sure there's some like a, uh, Four-legged animals, like a deer or something. What, whatever the heck that is. There it is, an axis deer. Oh, and he's close. He's really close. Jamal, don't you mess nothing up. He's within 75 yards. I think, oh, wait, the pistol. I forgot to load it. Ammo, we got to use the 10 millimeter. Guys, comment below. Do we stink and take this thing out with the 10 millimeter? If, if we can get enough people... To want me to do it with the 10 millimeter, we'll do it, okay? Yeah, pretty, all right, fair enough. Pretty much everybody wants me to do it with the 10 millimeter. Fair enough, we'll do it as, as soon as I see it. Can't shoot what you can't see. So first we actually gotta find that axis deer. And it was a male, so it was a big one. The wind is good. Let's scoot up a little bit. A little bit at a time. It said he was within 50 yards of me, so. He's right there where I can't see him. He's right over that hill. And I don't know what to do. He's an axis deer. I don't think I have an axis deer call. I definitely don't have an axis deer call with me. But he's the same distance as that tree. It's an axis deer. Oh, yeah. oh, we're about to see him. I think we're about to see him. He's right here on that flat somewhere. Where he was. Guys, we gotta be getting close. He's gotta be showing up eventually. Whoa. Did that deer just disappear? Don't run, don't run. Did that deer just disappear? First of all, back off your binoculars. Oh, now he's down there. I think he was running. Now he's 200 yards away. Oh yeah, someone just mentioned the new 22250. Pretty soon I'm doing a review video on that. Um, 
What if I told you it's not as good as you thought it was? If I told you that, I'd be lying because I've never actually used it yet. But, well, that might be the case. I don't know. Dude, where's that deer? Where's that dang axis deer? He got gone, didn't he? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, get down. Did y'all see him? I, don't, I, did, I just got a glimpse of him. I seen a few skinheads, which is a doe coming. So, this may not be the big buck, but they're coming. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Are they scared? That one's calm. I say we get in this bush right here and we just sit tight. Those axis deer don't even know we're here. And we're about to bust one with a 10 millimeter. So, it's pretty cool. Yeah, this is going to be good. All right, Jamal, I'm going to need you to lay down. Let me look over there. Can I see him? I don't see a buck. I don't see a buck. Let me look. Let me scan one more time. We're looking for a male axis deer. I don't want to shoot a female if I know there's a male here. I know there's at least maybe two males here. So, there he is. There he comes. Fallow deer? Wasn't I just hunting axis deer? Nope, never mind. Oh, there's the fallow deer. No, is that the axis deer? It wouldn't make much sense for a fallow axis deer to be running with a fallow deer, though. Hog deer? What in the... Where the heck are we at? Hog deer? Let's shoot that. That looks cool. All right, well, there's one. Let's see. If that thing stops, we'll shoot it at. Oh, and there's another one. Right, we just better get going. We just better just get going. I, I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get to use the 10 millimeter. But then again, we just seen a hog deer. Can someone tell me what the heck is that? No, you can't because no one knows. That's why we shot it. I wanted to shoot something with the 10 millimeter, but I ain't going to sit there and pass up a hog deer. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Sit here and rip a hog collar for it and it come running at us? I don't know. I'll say one thing. It didn't move much, did it? Once that 243 hit it, although... Some say it's the worst gun in the game, including me, about a year ago. Maybe it's not so bad. I sure thought we was hunting Axis deer, too. Maybe that was an Axis deer the first time. Guys, can y'all help me remember, that first grunt we heard at this spot, was that an Axis deer? And then fallow deer just showed up? Or am I crazy and just can't remember? Long story short, hey, we got a hog deer, whatever the heck that is. It's a silver, so maybe this is kind of a good one. Look at that thing. It's kind of weird. 99 pounds. That's pretty light for a deer. For a buck. Level 4. It's class 3. So, where'd I hit him at? I aimed right here. And I hit him back there. Y'all for real? I can't do replays since this is live, but... Y'all remember me shooting right here, right? I shot a little forward and hit a little back. How's that work? I don't know. 800 bucks, I'll take it. Well, I don't really know if we're going to see anything else here. Oh, no, we still got to go. Let's go on and hightail it. We're going to go ahead and get right down here. We're going to go ahead and sprint down there. Well, buddy, we don't really need to sprint. We're already there. We can actually glass that field down there. And, I mean, we did just shoot some gunshots, so that may scare them away a little bit. But, yeah, let's just go ahead and move down to that point. Then we're going to hunt that flat. Then, we're going down to the swamps, we're going to kill us a crocodile. Or at least we're going to try to. If y'all remember how I hunt the alligators in Mississippi, uh, I don't, because I don't know how. Okay. So if these crocodiles are going to be just as hard to hunt as the alligators, I don't know, this might be, it might be a little difficult hunt, but... I like hunting deer. Like, I know, uh, kangaroos are weird. I've never seen anything like a kangaroo. Even though one of their closest relatives is a possum. Anybody know how that works? No? Me neither. But apparently one of the closest relatives to a kangaroo is actually like a possum. So Now, if i seen a possum standing on two legs and trying to punch me, oh, son. I'd probably start crying. I'll be honest. 
Yes, I'd work it. Someone, uh, Will, Will, uh, Arledge, something like that. Y'all said do the gun reviews. Yeah, like I was saying, we're actually going to be doing a gun review, like a, as an actual video on the 22250 to tell you guys if it's actually worth buying or not. Now, I think it's like $7,000 money in the game, which is like seven foxes. But you can actually get it for free if you complete probably like 150 missions on Emerald Coast. It's usually how long it takes. But, um, yeah, I'm going to buy it and do a review on it. But we got a red deer right down here. Let's see if it's the red deer as big. Oh. Is this Australia? Oh, it is Australia. What that means is that New Zealand's pretty close. New Zealand, that's where I've killed a ton of diamond red deer. But what if... Australia's red deer just don't get as big. It's a well-known fact. I'm pretty sure, like, most of the world records that keep getting broken of red deer, I think they come from New Zealand. So, what if New Zealand just has bigger red deer? Like, that's a small red deer compared to what we see in New Zealand. But there is a herd of them, so. All right, all right, all right. I got you, I got you. This we will take with the 10 millimeter. Even if it's not a big red deer, that's fine with me. I, I don't really care how big the animals are, really. I'm just ready to shoot them. Anyways, we're going to be crawling up pretty close. These red deer are a pretty good target, which is pretty awesome. Oh, someone just said you only got to do like four to five missions to get the 22250. Well, then there you go. You got to decide, are you going to do the missions anyways? If you do, go ahead and do that. And then also, is doing four missions worth more to you than seven thousand dollars if you don't want to do the missions i'm probably going to do the missions but i may go ahead and buy it anyhow so that i can use it for the missions we're 130 yards away the 10 millimeter for it to really shine you need to get kind of close so we're just going to keep on moving someone said to hunt the bantang i don't know if you've been watching the stream but about 7 15 which is a little while ago about 30 minutes ago, we actually killed one. And it was we killed two. And they were, one of them, I would say, is pretty good. Let's see where they at. There's a red deer, but I don't think it's the red deer we're going after. I think we're on a little hump right here. We got to get over the hump to see what we're looking at. Dude, this map, low key, I actually really like it. I really do. I'm happy with Australia map. There's been other maps I haven't been a big fan of. Ooh. Someone just said that the 22250 is actually well worth it. So I might actually try that. I've heard good things about it. I've not heard any bad things about it yet, but of course the game just come out. But someone also just said that the 338, it drops everything. No, it don't. No, it don't. Okay. I did a video on it. It, the, it was the latest video. It was terrible. It was, it was a bad gun, okay? Shot, I, with a 338 rim ultra mag, whatever it is, Lapua, I should be able to shoot a tree in the foot and it dies. I should be able to miss a deer and kill it. I ain't in here to shoot a big gun. Go boom! You don't even know what you're looking at. You, you knock you in the next week, son, and you still didn't kill the deer? Are you serious? I shot a goat in the butt and it didn't die. If I'm shooting a goat in the butt with a 338 Lapua, I'm expecting the butt to disconnect from the rest of the body. You picking up what I'm putting down? Good. Now let's shoot this red deer with a 10 millimeter. Now the 10 millimeter, I like that gun. I like that gun a lot. But once again, I've actually, I, I lost the red deer. I don't actually know where the red deer are. Am I, am I that bad? Well, dang, I walked all the way around him. I didn't even notice I was going, getting away from him. Dang, my bad. Someone just said, uh, oh, it's attentive. Oh, we're shooting this thing in the chest. Don't you do anything to me. Ow. 
That's right. That's right. That's how we do it, okay? That's how we do it. How many times? Can y'all count how many times I hit it? I'd say at least 15, 16, maybe 17 times right there. That's pretty solid. That first shot aimed a little high, but it's also a little ways out there, so maybe it dropped in its chest. If not, I'd say one of maybe the other 16 bullets probably done the job and got it done. Let's see if we can find a blood trail. Uh, uh, that's not the blood we're looking for, but we'll take with what we'll take what we got. He can only go so far without running through the river. And the river actually looks shallow enough to where maybe it actually can run through the river. Oh, I didn't expect that. I figured it'd run to the river and, like, stop. All right, Jamal, you got some work to do. What is this? Uh, red deer. Let's see, is this him? Is there a track? We need some blood to see how quick it's dying. If this thing... What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way I shot that thing three times with a 10 millimeter and it ain't even dying. Jamal, I'm gonna be honest, man. You're a good dog and everything, but I'm not gonna chase this red deer for like an hour. I just don't think it's worth it. I really don't. It's a video game. Calm down. It's not like we're wasting animal. This is a video game. Don't forget that. Let's see. What else, what else, um, what's some of y'all saying? The croc the oh, oh, oh. Agent Croc, pretty convenient name, says the crocodiles are at the beach. That's pretty good. That's where we're actually heading. At the beach. Oh my goodness, I just remembered, realized something. Crocodiles are saltwater. So that means they can live in the ocean. What? What? That's crazy. Oh, come on now. All right, let's roll. Uh, I'd say we go, I say we put, we get a four-wheeler and we go figure out whatever that is because that looks like a point of interest. Let's just go figure it out. This will take up a little bit of time, but don't worry. We're still getting on the crocodiles right here in like zero seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in a four-wheeler. Here's how you do it. You just come to the garage. You have a charcoal, a crimson, and the jade. I like the jade. It's faster. I'm just kidding. They're all slow. My e-bike goes faster than these four-wheelers, but you get the point. Anyways, we're going to go down and check out what that thing is, because it actually looks pretty cool. And if, what if it's like an underground uh, bunker or something? Or what if it's like a cave? Stand by. It's actually really loud, so enjoy this clip of us driving. Hang tight. Stand by. Look at this field, though. It's pretty good stuff. Wouldn't surprise me if we look over and we... See some animals or something. I did not just see a raindrop. Did I just see a raindrop? If it starts raining, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm pulling the cord. I'm shutting down the computer. I ain't playing this game if it rains. If I wanted to play in the rain, I'd go outside. Okay, rains here every day. What is this? Yeah, this ain't nothing cool. What is it, a porta potty? You for real? You put you put a point of interest on a porta potty? <laughs> what we do in Hunter Call of the Wild? What are we doing? I guess we'll claim it. Mount Matron. Wow. That's a really cool rock. Not. All right, let's go kill alligator. It ain't alligator, it's crocodile. Yo, listen to me right here. What, what about the crocodiles in Africa? I know there's crocodiles in Africa. When are they going to update and put the crocodiles in the Africa map? That's got to be pretty soon, right? It's got to be. But now we're gonna head straight to the. Looks like we got a beach right here. Let's go to the beach. I seen some screenshots of crocodiles on the beach. So let's go test that out. We're gonna walk. This looks too good to drive through. This country looks way too good to drive through. There's gotta be a kangaroo or something out here. What is that? Is that a bird? No, it's a bush. Okay. Well, newsflash, it's raining. So that's cool. But look at these, look at the Emerald Coast. I think this is the Emerald Coast. Yeah, this is the Emerald Coast they're talking about when they're actually naming the map. What's Emerald even mean? I mean, I don't know. Is it rock? Is it like green or something? Maybe? If we get lucky, though, we might spot us a big crocodile. 
Here's sand. And then on to her right is actually like a bunch of puddles. Oh, snap. Get down. Get down. Saltwater crocodile. It's a level seven. We're going to need the three away. Jamal, I'm going to need your help. Jamal, look at me, Jamal. I'm going to need your help. Jamal, I'm going to need your help. I need you to sit down and let's have a really serious talk. All right, here's the game plan, buddy. You're going to go up, bite the, bite the alligator's arm. He's going to bite you. He's going to kill you. It's part of it. But then I'll shoot it for the live stream. Let's do this. All right, guys. So you just heard the game plan. We're sacrificing Jamal. It's okay. We'll just unplug. The, we won't save the game, so he'll come back. Uh, it's a good strat. It's a good strat. Be better him than me. I'll just say that. Now let's look for this crocodile. He was right over here. Where does a saltwater crocodile even, like, what's it What's it even do? Is it on the bank? Or is it in the water? Or did it bury itself or something? There was a male saltwater crocodile in this direction. I'm not even sure. Who? wonder if we can call it in with this crocodile. Nah, I guess you can't. Oh, that'd be cool if you could. What if you could call in a crocodile? We might be able to if we got the bigger deer collar, the bear collar. I don't see it. I hear it, but I don't see it. I hear him, but I don't see him. If he's in this tall grass, I don't know where he is. If he's in this tall grass, nope, there he goes. There he goes. Oh my gosh. That's definitely a salty. The biggest reptile in the world and highly aggressive. Oh my god. You don't know what you're doing. You'll be the prey. So be careful with this one, mate. Oh gosh. Well, as you guys know, the game plan was simple. It was to shoot it and kill it with a 10 millimeter. But Jamal, we need you to do your part. Go jump in the belly of the beast. Let's do this. All right. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got to keep up with that crocodile. As long as he's calm now, he's calm and he's resting. He's resting. This is going to be perfect. We can sneak up to that rock, and he should be just a good little 10 millimeter shot away. Guys, we're right on top of the crocodile. The colors on that crocodile looks wicked, dude. Wicked. Hold up. I'm going to put my guy walking over there. Check this out. I actually have the head of a crocodile right here. The head of a crocodile. I'm just kidding, it's an alligator. And it's really small, but this is kind of cool. Someone sent it in fan mail. They ripped the teeth out first, which i that's fine with me. I don't know how old this is, but here's an alligator head. I just... I just thought that I just I just thought that'd be cool. Thought you guys might like to see that. But regardless, we are now up to the rock. Let's locate that alligator. Nope, crocodile. If we're lucky, he's not one away. Yeah, he's right there, dude. He's resting with his mouth open, but he is attentive again. He's 60 yards away. I'm gonna go ahead and get down. We're gonna give him time to calm down. He is a little big for the... Did he just... Did, oh, no, he's still there. He's still there. He's calm. The 10 millimeter is technically a little small. But we're going to try it. Here we go. The good thing is that we have 15 shots to get it done, and I'm pretty sure no matter what size he is or how big he is, 16 shots will probably kill him. Now, I don't know. I mean, hey, actually, it didn't kill the red deer. I'll say that. It didn't actually kill the red deer. Ooh, this is fun. This is fun. If, if these crocodiles are this easy to kill, or this easy to find, I'll say, to where they're just chilling on the banks right here, now, this is going to be fun. This is going to be some fun stuff to kill crocodiles. 
And there he is. I think he's I think he's floating in. I think he's floating in. Right here in a second, we're gonna go try to kill one more crocodile, and we're actually, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll, ju we'll just keep hunting a little bit. We'll, we'll, we're gonna hunt right down this beach, kill another crocodile or two, just see what they're like. But man, how many shots is that? We well, stink and put a hurting on him. Look at that. You ever seen? You ever seen a crocodile dookie? Me neither, but you have now. Congratulations. Let's swim out here and get him. I feel like this is a really bad idea, but he ain't floating fast enough. Dude, this is crazy. I wonder if this is a big one. And I want to take one out with the 308 next just to see how much money it's actually, like, worth. You know? Because this one, I didn't necessarily take it out with the correct weapon. But what if we did? How much money would it be worth? And how many crocodiles are there? I mean, that actually worked out pretty dang good. Because we just walked straight to the beach and there just happened to be a crocodile there. I have a feeling it might be harder, though. Look at him. Look at that. That's crazy, ain't it? They definitely need to put these in Africa. First shot was a double lung. Now, that's pretty good for the 10 millimeter. The 10 millimeter should honestly... Mm, I'm not going to say it should be a higher level because I don't know if it really should. But it is. I do think it's pretty cool that we were able to kill a crocodile. What if there's like a multi-mount to where we can kill a crocodile and a, a alligator and get them both mounted together? I think that'd be pretty cool. Let's watch. Let's walk this beach for a little bit, and then I think we. I think if we're lucky, we can definitely probably get another. Um, I think we can definitely get us another crocodile, especially if we just keep our eyes out. They seem to be resting right now. It should be easy. The mangroves, huh? Ain't this like the mangroves or something? Fish can swim in it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, some of y'all that know a lot about this thing, uh, or this map, is, is there going to be crocodiles in this part, or do I just need to go ahead and walk back down the beach? Y'all tell me, y'all know way more than I do, but is there gonna be crocodiles in all this wet stuff, or am I wasting my time? Y'all let me know, and if not, then I'll just, we'll move on, because we want to kill an alligator, a crocodile. Y'all tell me. We'll keep hunting for now, and yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see what y'all are saying. Uh, y'all said yes. Y'all said yeah. Yeah, alright. Y'all are saying yeah, there's crocodiles in here, so we're just gonna hunt through this. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all are saying this is a good spot. We'll be in good shape then. We'll just start walking through here and looking. Guys, comment if you guys know this. Uh, what... What other animals are in the mangroves? Pretty sure this is mangroves. Pretty sure that's what it, I've watched enough Australian survival videos. I know that. Uh, comment below what other uh, animals are on in the mangroves. And what should I be looking for? What kind of strat should I be doing? Let me see. Looking at these puddles of water, just, you know, maybe, maybe there'll be a crocodile here or something. What's that, a stump? close let me see what's happening um crabs crabs is there crabs in the game maybe uh, a mag magpie goose a bantang monkeys a lot of people saying geese red deer monkeys is there a hog deer is there like crabs is there crabs and monkeys in this game i mean there's a lot of people man they don't want to shoot monkeys but <laughs> Buddy, I'll, I'll let the lead fly on a monkey. I don't I don't care if they look like a human. They're not. But a crab, I'll let the lead fly on a crab, too. Don't even pretend I won't. The buffalo things, I think that was kind of a bang tang or a bing bong, whatever. I like bing bongs. Boys, is that a crocodile right there? That kind of looks like a crocodile leg, don't it? We'll just have to get closer and get a better look. That kind of looks like one. I think it might be. Hold up now. I can't swim through that. Can I? Well, heck no. That's too deep. Let me pull out the rifle. Get a better look at that. Before I go over there too fast. I also need to mark it. What I need to do. That's got to be a crocodile. That's got to be a crocodile, right? 
looks just like one. See that? See, see what I'm looking at right there? That's got to be a crocodile, right? It's big. It's got. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, that's a level six hard. That's a good one. That's the one we're going after. Dude, look at me spotting that. Y'all can say what you want to. That was hard to spot. That wasn't easy. Where's these crabs at? I want to shoot a crab. Someone said frog. Is that a deer? Heck no, it ain't a deer. It's a stump, brother. These crocodiles are so cool. Imagine being able to hunt crocodiles one day. I think it's most likely if you go to Africa. There's another one. That's a smaller one. We're going to leave it. Dude, there's crocs all in this. That one we're hunting, though. There's another crocodile. Then, of course, there's that one crocodile back in there. I just heard some of those geese going. I feel like, I feel like this is, I feel like Australia is a really good place to, like, die. Oh, my gosh, it's so, that's a big one. I'm going to scoot over to the right get a good shot on it. I'm just going to take that shot from here. I mean, you don't have to get right up on top of things to kill them. Plus, I'm going to have to walk through the that water again. Is that a good shot? Oh, that's a good shot. I'm taking that. 308 to double lung. Oh, he's done right there. Oh, he's done right there. He didn't go... We're not alone. We're not alone. There's something close. Y'all hear that hiss? Is that is that stinking? There's one up there. Dude, I think we're surrounded. There's one over here, apparently. He just growled. He just did a mating call, which is even scarier. When they start responding to gunshots with mating calls, it's probably about time to be careful. Okay. They said these things are real aggressive, so. If we get lucky, we might get attacked. Bring it on, buddy. You think I'm scared of you? I think it's this little one up here, but there ain't no such thing as a... Just because he's little don't mean he ain't mean, you know? Oh, and then we got one over here somewhere. There we got one there. We got one running. We got one running right through there. I ain't gonna shoot it. I don't think I can get him. But no, there's one over here somewhere. Let's make it over there, boys. We shot that one. That one was a smaller one with the 10 millimeter. But now, it's, it's gotta be making its way downtown somewhere. You know, it's gotta be trying to get to the ocean somewhere. Otherwise, it's not very protected. But now it's still alive, too, because I sure didn't kill it. Where would it be? It's got to be close. It's got to be close, right? This is some spooky stuff. I'd just be walking through here. One jumps up, snaps at my leg. Right here's where he was. And she went right back in here. I say we go for it. Let's see, where, let's see if I can sit, look out and see it. He's cropped. Oh, he went, hey, she went right in there. The question is from there, where did she go? She hit that main stream or something and try to get down there. Jamal, buddy, you better be careful. They'll turn you into supper. What time is it? About 16 o'clock? Yeah, they'll eat you, buddy. I think we're going to let that crocodile go because I don't know where it went. And I'm not trying to go on a scavenger hunt for a angry, aggressive crocodile. Let's just go pick up this one we shot, which is pretty big, and we'll go from there. And if we see another one, we'll shoot it. But for now, let's just go pick up the one we already got down. What in the world? That thing's got to go down, right? What was that about? That hit him really good. I thought I did. Oh man, I thought I hit that. I thought I hit that crocodile really good, and then just I don't know, didn't or something. 
Well, we're trying. We're trying out here. We're getting used to the whole Australia map. Tell me, tell me right now, have, do y'all like the Australia map from what you see? I mean, obviously shooting kangaroos is cool, and shooting crocodiles is always fun. And right here's the big one we just shot. See the big one we shot right here? Didn't move a muscle. It looks like if you want to kill some crocodiles, just come in here and walk around right in the middle of the day. Look at that one. That's a silver. Wow. How big do they got to be to be a gold? Because that one's 1,600 pounds. I wish you'd tell me how long. I feel like that'd be pretty good. But I don't know how to tell. I think I killed that other one, too. I hit him with some good shots. Yeah, yeah. I hit him with a really good shot right there. I think the reason that one didn't go anywhere is because I actually shot him in the spine. He's probably floating out here, honestly. He about has to be. He's got to be floating back to shore as we speak. He's got to be dead. There he is. Yeah, he, he died. He died pretty good. Oh, there's a duck. Uh, what do you shoot a duck with? Uh, 308, of course. There's more alligators. Get the 10, get the 10, get the 10, get the 10. One just went aggressive, one just went aggressive. When my dog growls, that means something's going aggressive. I don't know where it is. I'm getting up in the mangroves. That way it can't hurt me as bad. Jamal went aggressive. I don't know where the gator, where the croc is. I hope it ain't a trap. I guess let's go ahead and get this in a flesh. What about that? No, no, no. It was a good lung. It killed it pretty fast. That was a flesh hit. Jamal's going crazy right now. Jamal, Jamal's growling. That means there's one aggressive. I want to see what an aggressive croc does. More importantly, where's it at? Is it somewhere I can't see? Is it just in the water? Is it, is it behind me? Is it stuck in an animation? I wish I knew, but I got the 10. I said, let's just walk around a little bit, see if we can test it. Thing might come jumping out of the water. What if they do? What if they would hide like right in there and then jump out and grab your leg and kill you? That'd be crazy. We're gonna run around. I wanna, I wanna see this aggressive crocodile. I wanna see what, what exactly is it gonna do? Is that it? No, it's a tree. If I get in the water, does it come after me? I know in real life, I feel like that's what would happen. Let's just keep walking around. Maybe that aggressive crocodile will follow us. That'd be crazy. That'd be scary, but it would be crazy. Dude, these mangroves are stinking full of crocodiles, man. Trying to find a spot to cross this creek. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. We're close now. Found him. I 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 found the aggressive croc. Just like that. He goes underwater. Don't know where he is now. Did Jamal just go underwater? You okay, bro? I don't know where he is. I put a few shots in him with the 10. But is that enough to kill him? I don't know. He came to right here before I started shooting. I should have just let him keep on coming and gunned him down right at my feet. But that had been a little crazy. That had been spooky.
That was wild. I'll take it, though. Who would have thought a hunting game would be this fun? I mean, let's be honest. Hunt hunting in real life is always, a, always pretty great. But when you can't hunt outside, it's raining. Or whenever you're just, we've already been hunting. Or maybe, hey, guess what? There's nothing in season. This is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. There's just so many crocodiles here. It's crazy. This is cool. Let's just keep walking. Let's see if we can't kill one more crocodile. Maybe we'll get a big one. Maybe we can get lucky and another one will go aggressive. I'd like to be charged again. And also, if I do another live stream pretty soon, what kind of, what map do you want me to go after? And what animal do you want me to target? Because we could always come back to Australia. We could always come back to Australia because this is a really new map. There's another one. He's attentive. He's a level six. And he's big. If I just sprint at this crocodile, what's it going to do? We're going to find out right now. He's somewhere right over there. We're just going to run right to him. And we're going to see. Some of y'all said Silver Ridge. It's always a good one. Um, they added Fallow Deer. Great one. All right, we got him cornered now. We got him cornered. What's it going to take for this thing to go aggressive? When's it going to run? No, it's fleeing. It's fleeing. Let's chase it. Let's think it chase it. See where it goes. What are we going to have to do to make this thing go aggressive? If we just aggravate it, will it go aggressive? Or do we need to do a little more work to get it to make it go aggressive? We're going to find out right here. If you want, to, if you want a crocodile to go aggressive. What's it going to take? Because we're going to aggravate him right here. We're going to chase him until I can't chase him no more. And unless he jumps in the water, I don't think he's going to get away. All right, Jamal's growling. That means something's went aggressive. I'm not sure where it is, though. So we're just going to keep on. We're looking for this crocodile. It can't be too much further. Because Jamal is going crazy. Dude, there's so many crocodiles in here. This is crazy. This little, this whole little spa right here is so thick with crocodiles. It's insane. Let's look out there and see if we can see another one. I also know that in the update, even on Mississippi... They made it to where the alligators spend a lot less time in the water. Because if they're in the water, you can't kill them. But if they're on land, you can. So they made it to where they don't go on uh, land as much. Or they don't go in the water as much. Come on, man. Let's find a crocodile. We tried to make that one go aggressive. I guess it didn't work. Mangroves are getting thick. And I'm not seeing any more crocodiles. All right, there we go. Well, I think we're gonna end it right here. We didn't really, we didn't really get to see an amazing crocodile attack, but we did get to see quite a bit. Subscribe if you're not already. And besides that, guys, I'm gonna just see you later. This is pretty fun, and I'm really excited to do a lot more live streams. Y'all just gotta comment below what you wanna see, and we'll just hop on here and do it. We're just out here playing a game. Okay, bye.